Welcome back to a Grammy edition of 1515, backstage at the Grammys 2000, and the woman of the night, as far as I'm concerned, oh, best oh, new you. artist, Christina Aguilera. <laughs> I mean, you, I, you look genuinely surprised up there. I was shocked out of my mind. Yeah. I, I was not expecting it whatsoever. It, yeah. was, um, it, it was amazing. It was one of those moments that are like frozen in time and seems so surreal. I've, I've never experienced that before. Do you remember like sitting there and what, right before they said the name, what you, were you expecting it or just not, you didn't know what Oh, no, no, no. I had... No, you know what I was doing? I was preparing, oh, okay, I have to get together my loser face now and be happy anyway <laughs> right. that I lost. To put on a good face. <laughs> yeah. Right, exactly. And whenever that happened, I was like, like my manager had to push me out of my chair to go up and accept because I, I seriously was like, this is not really happening. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, beyond beyond Christina, though, I must say a lot of the young people, it was pretty much the veterans night here at the, at the Grammys 2000, you know, um, uh, NSYNC, Backstreet, those guys came up short, unfortunately, but um, a good night all around. I think Santana certainly fared well and everyone expected that. Of course, that. everyone expected. He took it all. Yeah. In the meantime, <laughs> Backstreet certainly props to them for their four nominations this year. And I sat down with the guys recently to ask them some uh, not-too-often-asked questions. Check out what they had to say.